Hey there, I just got my head back, not only from the machine shop, but from the port and polishing guy uh, over at Beauport Racing Heads. So first and foremost, oh, let me show you. Machine shop, of course, resurfaced the head, made it nice and shiny, cleaned it, um, double checked that, that all the valves were sealing properly. And then I told him to stop at that point because what I did after that was to take the time and remove all these valves, and you can see them right here, uh, clean them uh, uh, with a wire wheel, and then send the head out to get some port and polishing work done. Port and polishing uh, comes uh, in three different stages, you know, stage one, two, and three. Stage one, you are looking at just what's referred to as the bowl. And the bowl is the area just after the valve, you know, both intake and exhaust, and it is basically smoothing out, and you can see how just beautifully smooth he got these um, uh, bowl areas behind the valve. Stage two, which is what I opted for, goes a little step further, and that involves going right in the area where you have um, the valve guide. So I don't know if you can see my finger here, but I can definitely get you a better close-up picture. But really, halfway through each of these ports, uh, the valve guide lives, and it protrudes into the airstream. And what stage two does is remove the excess material that gets in the way and try to trim that down so the air can travel as you know smoothly as possible around that area. Now, stage three that I did not opt for is getting all the way to these ports. And what I did, I, I went for the recommendation of the port and polishing guy because I said, look, I, I just want the best bang for the buck. And I sent him the head and he took a look at it and he said, look, your biggest bang is gonna be stage two. Uh, that's gonna be, you know, I don't remember the exact number, let's say over 30% more flow than you have now in certain RPM ranges. And again, don't quote me on that, I'm just going from memory. So uh, after having heard that this was fairly recommended on these motors, I decided to pull the trigger. What I'm going to do now is remove all the valve stem seals from this head. These little valve stem seals sit on top of the valve and essentially stop any oil from entering into the combustion chamber. They're held in uh, with just a little bit of friction and can take a little bit of force to get out. They're not too bad. So let's, um... all right, got my uh, headlamp ready so I can actually see what I'm doing. Sorry for the look, but you want to be a bit gentle. Anyways, what I like to do is let's try these pliers first. You have to kind of get in there. Once you get them to twist around, and I'll get you a better shot of this. Once I'll twist around once or twice, then you can kind of sort of work them loose. There we go. All right. Next step is to flip the head upside down and start lapping all these valves in to ensure a great seal. I'll show you what I'm talking about. You want to make sure that you have the head uh, in a way that you know which uh, is cylinder number one because you don't want to get the valves lapped in the wrong cylinder. So let's take a look here. This is the intake side and you can tell they're larger valves are on the intake side. And I believe this will be cylinder number one because the cooling jacket is right here. <clears throat> so let's start with valve number one. Take your compound, well, valve grinding compound, and just put it on the valve as such. Put the valve inside. Always have to have a little towel around because you don't want to get this too much in your hand. And you take this little suction cup tool, put it on the valve, and spin it as such.
And the idea is you want to um, keep spinning until the noise gets kind of uh, a higher pitch because the compound itself will just start uh, degrading and become a smoother and smoother. So, a little suction cup on there. And if it gets stuck like this, I like to just put with my finger a little bit of pressure back on the valve to. And I feel like that one is pretty good. So, I'll leave it as such. Take it back out. Of course, you're gonna have to clean all this. This is water soluble, so you can clean all this. Now you can see the back side of the valve here is um, nice and um, lapped is the word, but what the idea is, it is made exactly to the surface of the valve seat. I think I actually might leave these in here for now. And go on to uh, valve number two. All right, I got um, all 20 of these valves lapped, ensuring that every surface is um, nicely meshed with the valve. And then I have cleaned everything off to get rid of uh, any excess um, valve lapping compound. So the next step we have is to get um, the new valve stem seals back into the head. To do that, I have to flip it back upside down. And grab our little valve stem seal. You want to get a tool that, like a socket like this, that just goes nicely over the edges and so you can press them on. All right, let's give it a shot. Okay, you see I went and got my very fashionable headlamp for this so I can make sure I'm doing the right thing. Okay, first tip you want to do, Grab the valve spring seat and put them back in where you belong. So I use a screwdriver to kind of give it a ride down. And then let's get a little bit of oil. This is just because I want them sliding on there nicely, but mostly because a valve. The uh, valve itself, the valve stem is going to go through here quite shortly. So, that's, oh, and I got myself a pick tool to reinstall. I'll show you my technique. Let's get a little oil on there. Okay. Align them. Okay. I just have it like sitting on top now. I mean, the idea is you grab your socket. And you push them on. You want to make sure it is on all the way. Because if one of these comes loose, the car will make a bunch of smoke when you're uh, decelerating. Okay, feel pretty good about this one. All right, let's uh, keep rocking and rolling. Okay, now I'm going to put the valves back into the head. 
Again, this is exhaust side, intake side, cooling jackets. So this is the front, so this is cylinder one. First, I'm gonna take all the springs and put them in there. So let's do that. Now I wanna hit the valves just with a little bit of brake fart cleaner, just to make sure. Any remaining lapping compound is gone. All right, let's grab the valve. A lot of oil on it. I like to go very slow when I put the valve in. I don't want to knock that seal out, the valve stem seal out. Okay. A little trick I saw that worked kind of nicely when you take little valve stem. Guys, you dunk them in oil and that kind of makes them stick a bit as you insert them. Finally got them. Okay, let's get the other half on there. Thought I had him. Okay, let's see if I can get him to sit in this little home. Pretty good. So you relieve the tension slowly. And there we go. All right. All right, there you have it. Um, a completely sorted head that's been resurfaced, pressure checked, vacuum tested, poured and polished with a stage two. Uh, all the valves have been pulled out, cleaned, uh, all the carbon has been removed, the, the head's been hot tanked, and uh, it's also received a stage two port and polish. So this is ready to go back on the vehicle um, with a fresh head gasket.